So it is uh, officially day one. Kyle, Kyle is now here with the R8, and we need to meet the technician who's going to be doing it all. So we have, boom, oh, Alex Taylor. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? How's it going? Good, good. You know, happy to be here. So what's what's the plan for today? I guess today we are going to get the car racked up, pull the axles out. Those got to get shipped out right away. We are going to start taking off the bumper, all the things that need to come off, like the wing, all the beauty panels. Get everything laid out, ready to go, so I can start pulling the trans. Trans is first, and then right after that, we're gonna get into the installing our early access Alpha 12 kit. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get all them panels off, and uh, we'll see how far we can get today. Let's do it. All right. It does sound good. It does sound very good. It sounds amazing, but it's so loud. Yeah. Like, if I start my car after 10 p.m., I usually leave the garage open until the cold starts then. It was so loud. <laughs> These turbos should quiet it down quite a bit. Oh, 100%. Electronics right now? Yep. So I'm just going to pop this box out of this bracket like that. That's the fuse box? Yes. Fuse box for each side. Yeah. Kind of does... Some has more stuff for everything. This one kind of has stuff for everything. It's just kind of how they did it. But, um... As far as ECUs goes, you, know, you got two of them, one for each bank. Yeah, nice side, plug and play with MoTeC, which is the best part. Ease of access, easy serviceability, it's great.
What's up? How we doing? We're doing great. What's going on? So, pants is out. Yep. Um, started disassembling some of the stuff that we are no longer needing in the intake manifold. Um, after that, it's kind of just been piecing little things and things together here and there, you know. Got the turbos all clocked up. They're level. They're exactly where they need to be. Ready for jumpers. Started installing all of my water lines and oil lines. Um, we're ready to rock and roll. Rip. Well, oh no, there's more. <laughs> but wait! <laughs> but wait, there's more. But wait. I wasn't seeing the turbos on there now. First pull, so yeah. it's it's okay. becoming but more then, reality. Uh, I think I think the uh, big like yeah. with my unicorn when I finished yeah. it up, yeah. the big moment where it was like, damn, this is happening is when we start it up and you hear it. But this is like, I wasn't really there for the fitment of the turbos and things like that. So mm -hmm. this is a whole different experience. The unicorn was a different animal though. They literally had to grind the block for like ten hours just to fit them tucked up underneath there. This all fits in there nicely, but the trans in still with the this turbos is going in place. Way faster than the <laughs> yeah. I mean you had to do a lot of a lot of customers. It was a lot of customers. Yeah. 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 Tyler, what's going yes. on man? So you are working on the clutch it looks like. Yes, yeah. So I uh, just kinda of finished disassembly on uh, Kyle's clutch here. Um, going through uh, starting to reassemble with our new Alpha nine plate uh, clutch. All the friction steels are ours. Um, also going to upgrade from the stock basket to the dots and billet baskets. So this is kind of cool for those that don't know. So these little holes that you see on the sides, uh, Tyler's told me that's kind of how the oil passes through into each clutch. All right, man. Well, we'll see you in a bit. We'll see you. It plates off. It's off. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Came off pretty easy, actually. Um, yeah, I remember you telling me it's like kind of hit or miss with yeah. Uh, yeah. So now we're just going to kind of work on breaking it down, um, get second gear out of it, and get the new one put in. Uh, water tank for the intercoolers. So the frame rail actually just sits right here. So we use, we send some bolts through here, and it actually kind of clamps it. We have some rubber um, rubber foam to isolate Beautiful. the noise. I don't want to give up any room in the front. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I got for bags. And then it's, actually what's kind of cool is we mount this guy. So that'll mount there and then this just pulls uh, water right from that tank. All in the wheel well area, intercooler stuff. Um, air boxes use these mounting points. So we made these plates. Intercoolers mount to those plates and blow up valves, couplers and everything there. Motec. Um, M1 system. This was a big decision too when I was considering how I was going to build the car because I've a little gun shy with standalones. I'm not much of a tuner. I can turn the boost up on my <laughs> on my Corvettes, but that's about it. But uh, after talking to a bunch of the owners of these cars and Martin, like they all said, do the Motec, just make it happen. The one thing that's not perfect about the R8 to me is the inconsistency of the launch control. Like I'll launch at the track once and it'll just take off and it'll launch again and it'll bog. And more often than not, it's going to bog about 60-70% of the time, so be a lot more consistent with that. That was the big selling point. And rolling anti-leg for roll racing yeah. is going to be huge. Yeah. Filters, obviously. Yeah. Right there. Yes. And then some really cool parts. Some yeah. you know, yes. titanium pieces. I mean, this wastegate weighs more than <laughs> this piece did. Actually, yeah. And these, yeah, these are actually really cool, too. So these yeah. are AMS turbo blankets, so these will look really nice in the engine bay as well. Mm -hmm. Another part of the intercooler system slash heat exchanger, uh, these mount in the front bumper. Yeah, we run water lines all the way up front, uh, keep the intercoolers cool. The black, they kind of blend right in with the uh, bumper accents, so you hardly know that they're there, but the, you'll see the A popping through. Nice. Um, 
And then another really cool piece. <laughs> Everyone's probably one of the favorite with the, the titanium exhaust. This is the one thing out of everything on the car you're actually gonna see mm -hmm. easily right through the back window. When you guys dropped this intake online, I was just like, I need it. So it's a work of art. Yeah, so, yeah, so this, the center guy should be red, and then your bell horns on the inside will okay, be yeah, red. The whole, the whole piece there. Yes. And then this is our fuel system. Uh, you got your the alpha rails. Um, yeah, lots of lots of extra goodies. Injectors here. Um, what size injectors are they running? They should be 1100s. 1050s. 1050s. And yes, we got the pumps. Yeah. Dual. Pumps. Dual brushless yeah, pumps. Yeah, dual brushless pumps. The same thing as actually as our GTR system. Um, we just change the other hard components and make it fit here. Um, the nice billet top hat piece. So while these, uh, we have these little bulkhead connectors, they'll pop into there. This actually mounts to the top of the pumps. And then we have a huge uh, Dash 8 line coming out, which is gonna come through <laughs> this guy here. So we have no limits there. Let's take a look at this. Uh, I got a little Easter egg on these. <laughs> I prefer twins. <laughs> it's a twin. I was wondering what IPT system. stood for. Yeah, IPT either. Yeah. Somehow this is all gonna fit <laughs> yeah, back right. into the car. Exactly. Then we got turbos. Oh, we can forget about turbos. turbos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the turbos are uh, GTX 3582 mm. Gen 2s. Um, we don't really do anything with them except we just made these super nice brackets to uh, mount them on the car. Should be, I think, around 8 or 9 PSI, give or take. You might see 11 or 12. This one's going to be safe, so it, it should be good. Yeah, we, we push our car, not not uh, your guys' car. Yeah, exactly, so. yes. Cool, well, I think that does it for the parts, yeah? Is there anything else we're missing? I don't think so. Fire system. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah not yeah, here yeah. yet, but uh, I had to have a fire system. <laughs> can, we, uh, can we cut in a couple clips Anybody here? that knows our video knows. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. overlay okay. the reasons for the fire system. <laughs> Couldn't stop. Man, we had a fire. Uh, we'll probably have two nozzles kind of pointing to like broadcast it over the, the engine here. Gotcha. Um, the, you know, the fuel system's mostly going to be right in this area, so we should be able to uh, hit that. The nozzles have like an outward and a downward spray, so I mean, you can kind of turn it however you want it to. Cover where you need it to. Yep, yeah. exactly. It'll fill the engine bay. So, uh, Matt from 1320 uh, found out that it was Tyler's birthday today, which actually we haven't said on the camera yet. and. Uh, he wanted to do something a little special for him. Matt, would you like to explain what we have going on here? There's a Walmart right down the street, and he, I asked him what he was going to do today, he's like, I'm probably just going to go home and hang out. Like, That's boring. So we got him a pinata here. Dude. We got him a really big <laughs> pinata. <laughs> Full of candy. Like two pounds. Like I, I got like the big bags. Dude. Put those in there. <laughs> he got him party hats. <laughs> Sunglasses too. And sun Oh my god. Now we wait. Now we wait. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! That's for you, buddy! Yeah, that's what you said. Give her a good smile. Tyler, just take it. There we go! Through the transmission. Uh, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy Thank you guys. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's pretty good success. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Thank That'll you. do. That'll do. <laughs>